hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to install this bank digital banking system version 2.1 this video can also help you install version 2.0 and uh, version 1.2 and the rest of them so without wasting much time on this video as you can see the price right here as you can see it here then sell it 59 dollar but in this our website right here you can purchase it just 29 dollars so now once you purchase this product from us we automatically send you the um the file via your email or any other um place you want us to send the file to you so now once you are done purchasing this product all you need to do is to go to your c panel but before i will start showing you how to install this product i would like you if today is your first day to quickly move to our youtube channel and click the subscribe button right there and also click the notification button so that you'll be notified anytime we upload any video like this as you can see here we also have many videos right here you can also watch if you need help from these videos so quickly what we need to do once you are done subscribing to our channel is to move to your seal panel as you can see here i'm using um host gear and this host gear only have a h panel so no c panel but is the same thing what is h panel is also in c panel so what we need to do is to move to our file manager HC panel, you can see file manager just or you use the search button on the top to search for file manager. Just click on it. So all you need to do once he, um once you have opened your file manager is to move go to your C, um, public underscore. So once you are done opening it, all you need to do is is to upload the file you want to install so just click on upload and the upload file you want to install so i'm installing via lab so you have to wait until this file is completed once you are done uploading it as you can see the file is now here all you need to do now is to extract this file from the zip file so i have extracted this file so i will now open the folder and so you can see we have documentation folder we have file folder we have object folder so we need to move this file folder to public underscore html so as you can see it here so we will now delete this so let's open this too and move these files to public underscore html So let's delete this file folder. We we'll now go to our website and write your domain name stroke install. Make sure you watch this video to the end so that you understand all the step i followed on this video and also do not forget to purchase this product from our website bonjuke.com as you can see and we will also drop the link on our description where you can purchase the product and you can also message us on our whatsapp number on the down description So we are having network issue right here. So as you can see, here is our install page. So let's click agree and next. 
also click next so now they ask us to set up these permissions these permissions is required so what we need to do now is to go back to our uh, um, file manager and uh, go to chrome then right here you can see storage does change the permission to 777 you can also open it change the permission to 777 also change this to 777 can also change this to 777 you go back here and open this change this to 777 so once you are done with this then go back to the installation p and the uh, recheck as you can see right here everything is good so let's click next step so right here they ask us to put our purchase verification so this purchase verification you can get the details um from us once you purchase the product from our website then here they ask us to put database details right here you, can, you will put your database name database username database host password and the admin email address right here so how can you get these database details all you need to do is to go back to your c panel and create a database remember i told you that C panel is different from H panel, so I'm using H panel, and C panel has its own method to use. So you can use the search button on the C panel top screen and search for database. Then you get um, the database where you where you can create your own or new database. So I will be using this H panel to create my own database. So all we need to do is just to add any name right here so i will add in bank you can add any name of your choice but i'm adding i prefer using bank so here is our password all you need to do is to add your own password but i'll be, I'll be using a generate password because this is just a demo and also a video tutorial so i've copied my password and i will go back here and paste it then here i will add local host this local will make sure there is no space putting it like this will result this the, the website not to install so what you need to do is to make it no space as you can see no space right here so now let's go back to our ch panel and uh, click create So as you can see we have created the database so i will now copy it and go back to our install page then paste it here and also paste it here too then i will add the admin email address so once you are done adding this you can also get the like i said before you can get the purchase code details from us so once you add the purchase code here everything here then you just click install to bring complete inspiration as you can see i have i've just installed the script successfully so what we need to do now is to go to website let's click go to website so you can see everything is working so let's go back and go to admin then let me just add admin and admin then click login 
can see everything is working successfully. So right here, you can also see many other features. You can go to generate um, general settings and change your uh, your site title, change the currency, and many others. Here you can change your account number. You can also change. You can also add. You can also like give a total number that the account number will have. Here we also have OTP um, expiration time. That is, so you can also see it here. Here you, we can see bank transfer limits within um, via bank. So here you can also see a uh, transaction charge. Then then right here can also see the template the region, and this manage session you can uh, change whatever you want to change on the website you can see it here about us you can write it and um, banner page you can also see it here um, you can also see everything is working so you can see you can go down KYC content and see everything is here. And everything is opening. You can see sign up page. So everything is here with this place. You can edit anything you want to edit. So thanks for watching this video.